What's happening, everyone? Welcome to Mother Truck in Monday, uh, where we left off in Kansas. Uh, we're going to be picking up a load here. We're going to be picking up, uh, well, it looks like a broken down, maybe a Kenworth? I don't know. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a little over 81,000, oh, just shy of 80, uh, th yeah, 38,000 pounds. And we're going to be heading back to Stockton, California. Long drive, unfortunately. Nighttime. So, what is that? Is that a wrecked Kenworth, maybe? Appears to be. We're going to try to get this from within the cab. I doubt it's going to happen. We'll give this one more shot. Just not back far enough. Oh well, shit! I thought I was back far enough. That sucks. Anyway, oversized load. I like the uh, I like the look of the wrecked truck in the back there. Let's head it out. We're all rested up. Got three quarters of a tank of fuel. It is a wide load, so I guess we'll hit the beacons. Fortunately, I have the dome light on. Guess it's not too much of a bother for me. Adjusted that brake sensitivity a little bit. Moved it up since the physics mod really uh, tweaked that value. So I'm hoping I don't run into the back of someone this time. times I've driven. Come on, I think I can. I think I can. Get up there. I don't want to downshift. Thank you, AI, for actually stopping this time. Try floating the gear on that one. Didn't work.
if I want to keep running the uh, coast to coast map mod. I enjoy the long trips. I enjoy, you know, just getting out of the the condensed area of the main game map. Um, but I don't enjoy the barren landscape. I mean, at least out here we have a couple rolling hills and so forth, but the lack of, uh, I don't know, just, just static scenery. You know, some billboards, some buildings here and there, maybe, uh, maybe a farm. Now, I'm sure the, the author Coast Coast map does put in a lot of time and effort, and I do appreciate that. It's just right now, I don't know if I want to keep running it or not. We'll see, though. I mean, you, you know, you guys can let me know. I'm really looking forward to when they expand the map, uh, you know, move move the scale up. Anyway, I forgot what it was. It's coming down from one uh, one thirty second scale to one twentieth scale. I think it was. I know I've talked about it before. But I am definitely looking forward to that. And then with that, I will be more likely to stay within the map regions of the of the game itself, of the stock vanilla game. So we'll see. have to use a little bit of that median to get past them. along pretty good. I mean, hell, it's, it's not a heavy load. Uh, there was a, like an 80,000 or 85,000 pound load that I did want to take over. It, it came back to California. It's a big oversized box from the same type of trailer. Oh shit, we gotta stop. On this type of trailer, uh, but it was much wider came back to California so I was kind of digging that unfortunately I had to rest up and when I did the job had expired so I took the next best thing a broken down truck on the uh, on the wide load trailer I forget who uh, what brand name this trailer is Kind of disappointed I didn't stay in the cabin and back it up just a little bit more. I think I would have had that from uh, first person. I would have been pretty proud of myself. So on this trip, I really didn't think too much of uh, you know the topic to talk about. That's why again, and I'll ask again. You know, if you guys have topics or something like that, something interesting, put it down in the comments below. And maybe I can uh, bring it up in in video while we're on these long trips. I mean, the only thing I've pretty much been hearing uh, a lot of on the news is the um, Republic nomination thingy that they got going out there with Trump. Um, and 
then the upcoming Democratic nomination party. I'm, I'm going to be kind of happy once, once the whole election's over. No matter who wins, just so, you know, it's not uh, in your face. But don't get me wrong, I definitely don't want Hillary winning, but... We shall see in November. I do have a feeling, though, a lot of you guys are probably kind of happy that Trump is now official. The official uh, Republic candidate for president. Again, I think both parties have their, uh, have their negatives. But I can guarantee you I wouldn't be hitting the, uh, the voting button for Hillary. Now, keep in mind that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go in there and be like, well, I don't like Hillary. I don't like, uh, don't like Donald Trump. But Trump is the lesser of the two evils. Uh, screw it, I'm just going to hit Trump. You don't have to do that. You write your own name and vote for yourself. I mean, I'm guessing if enough people did that, it really throw some numbers off. But again, you can do that. You can write in who you would like, uh, you know, on the ballot. So keep that in mind when you, uh, you know, if you do go to vote. So you can also keep that that, uh, that guilt feel off your shoulders, just in case you vote for one or the other and they totally just tank out and fall flat on their face, you, you can proudly say, hey, I wasn't one of the people that voted for that person. Of course, you're probably going to have to emphasize that you didn't vote for either one, you voted for yourself. But again, what's the harm in that? like we're hitting the uh, wonderful state of Texas. Sun's starting to come up. I'm all over the goddamn road. Take advantage of this flatter terrain and crank up the speed here. See if I can actually get up to this 85 mile an hour mark. I don't think I can. Nah. Back it down. Try to save some fuel. At least Texas here has a little bit more, a uh, little bit more eye candy going on. by quick. Oh shit. I knew that was going to happen. I know do good outside. nice actually drive in the daylight. At least we didn't have to deal with uh, nighttime too long. So I've been looking out on the sleeping schedule, either getting all day trips or mostly day trips. Car's getting all scared there, man. I'm not putting the trailer over on you. Relax. We'll cut out in front of me. But they're afraid to ride next to me here. So I 
33 hours to go in this trip. Ooh. Just shy of 1,300 miles. about this game just it's horrible when I go outside drive like this all day long though. Can't explain that one. Yeah, that's a bad idea. But I wanted to get something for the damn thumbnail. Checking on rest here. Let's see how much longer we have to go. Next rest stop in just shy of six hours. So we're not gonna have too much daylight in this trip. I think when I bring it back on the second part, it's gonna wind up being an all-night drive. I should not be in the uh, number one lane with a wide load passing vehicles, but I have a schedule to keep. I'm trying to get there ahead of schedule, make that money, expand that, expand that in my current garage, or possibly buy up another one in another location. And start getting some trucks added to the damn fleet. Get this company moving along. There we go, that's a little bit longer of a drive-by. Man, the other one was just crazy. No, this one's a little further away. 
There we go. Why does it sound like I'm slowing down? Oh, God damn it. Freaking uh, cruise control disengaged. I don't know why from time from, you know time to time it does that. I have absolutely no idea. It's not like I'm hitting the button for it. I think next rest stop we're going to pull over and uh, take a nap. I'm looking down my damn watch here. So we've got uh, next rest in four hours. I have no idea where the next rest stop is. Oh, actually, we're coming up to one here in just a moment. So we'll pull in there, get rested up, maybe ahead of time, because I'm not quite sure. You know what? Let me take a quick look at the map. You know what? We'll go up to the second one. Go up to the second one, then we'll uh, cut it there. Let me get rested up. And we'll continue out on uh, part two next week. Float the gears there. Couldn't, uh, couldn't get those damn things to float in town and save my life. What type of truck do you guys think I should take uh, when it's time to add one to the fleet? Thinking about picking up the Max Superliner. That truck kind of grew on me once I did that little uh, quick peek of it here on the channel a few weeks back. I, I kind of like the way it sounded. I just, I you know, I, I like that old vintage feel to the truck. Very nice model. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I really do like the Peterbilt 389. I might bring that in, maybe uh, do me up a nice, nice custom version. Be my truck, my truck only. Until I get tired of it anyway, and I decide to trade it in and get something else, but I don't know. Or maybe I'll switch back to my uh, Freightliner Classic for a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I like the Volvo and I love the way it looks with the black on black. I'd, I'd definitely like to switch the trucks up here and there. My retarder seems to be working. I don't know what the hell happened last episode, man. I had the Jake on, had the retarder on, came down that hill and just blew through that stop sign like no one's business. Luckily, I was slow enough to uh, to make the turn. Guess 
will fuel up while we're here. And then get this thing parked. Who the hell is blowing their horn? Oh, wow. Well. Damn AI, man. Wrong button. Shit, I'm not even filled all the way up. Sound like the damn thing was filled. Oh, they're going through there a little quick, aren't they? Look at that. Now, talk about some road rage. Alright guys, I guess that's going to do it for me on this episode. I'll run this thing over and park. Get all rested up for the next one so you guys don't have to sit through the boring stuff. Thanks for coming by and watching. And until next time. Holy shit, did you see that? Alright guys, that's my time. And remember, if you did like the video, click the like button and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more videos to come. And if you have time for another video, check out the one right here. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time.